Moscow? Moscow? Not yet, but they're trying to. Okay, Sardinia's landed, troops in Barcelona. How many troops does the Iberian... Okay, Portugal's now dead. How many troops does Iberia have right now? 5 to 17? Here's the question. Is it stupid to once again navally invade Spain? Like, is that just dumb? Also, I think the French Republic might actually die here. Legitimately, I think it's actually better for us if we just invaded the on the the um the Entente ourselves. Because who's in the Entente? Is Mexico in the Entente? No, they're totalist. I honestly think maybe we need to attack the Entente. Canada, France, or you know Algeria might be better off in our hands. I mean, it also would mean that this area here would not be going to the French Republic, which it actually would fix the German AI a little bit. Um, do we need more guns? We have 8,000 guns. We actually need a little bit more artillery. And we also need to bring more supplies in. Get that from the U.S. Uh, aluminum. We'll double that from Germany. Thank you. And put one more artillery. So apparently we're missing 1,000 pieces. I would like to get that sorted out as quickly as possible. Okay, so per Lima's fallen. Lopez is their current capital. But they should be dead pretty soon. I'm not too worried about it. How are you guys doing? Honestly, I don't really know. I, I can't really judge this. I mean, okay, got a small encirclement here. Maybe we want to send troops into Italy? Like, if we can kill Italy, that'll at least be, at least be one power dead. Also, uh... Yeah, no, this is bad. <laughs> this is also not what we like to see, uh, right now. We do have aircraft. What, what are our aircraft actually doing right now? You know, we're bombers, some fighter planes, send them over to you. I'm going to send one of you to this. And that'll be okay for the time being, I think. Is there any supply hubs around here? We got one supply hub in Grozny. And supply hub over here in Petrovsk. And Ostrakhan. Did we take Zarazin? No, not yet. I'm assuming Zarazin's got to be a supply hub, though. So I would like to take it. Please and thank you. Okay, so the Chino now war with the Japanese. That's good. That'll maybe... I mean, it's like, is that good? I guess it'll get some pressure off of the Dutch East Indies, but I don't know, honestly, how big of a deal that actually is. Are we still... Do we still have military access through you? Yeah, some military access through uh, Portugal. I think the French Republic might end up dying. To be completely honest with you. If I was to decide a war against them. Niger's been... Oh, they actually killed somebody. Amazing. It'd be 30 days. I'm, I'm honestly thinking about it. And just killing the Entente. I mean, like... You know, you guys have... You guys tried. It didn't go well for you. 27%. I, I think they will take Vancouver. Will the CSA white piece out the Canadians? They might... Which would be kind of funny. I guess now we'll go for air production. Also, I didn't take air production. I click construction repair. It's fucking useless. Give me air production. Thank you. Um, I'm going to have you march straight over to here. Take that supply hub. We did take Zarzin. So that's nice. It's not connected to the main road yet. We need to take this province first. But that is now two of the four cities that we need to beat the Russians. Look how many troops they sent to Sweden. That's a lot, actually. We're going to declare a war on top of division on their VPs, which them easily. Um, I believe if you try to do that, uh, it just kicks you out of the country, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Molly. Welcome, welcome. You know what I like about Molly? They got a sweet flag. That's a great flag. That's another country now rising against you. So you're, you're at war with many, many people. Is anybody else going to rise up against you? I don't think Nigeria can rise up a second time. We might see Upper Volta revolt. I, I actually, what is what is Liberia even fighting for? They want this territory. They've actually, they've actually got a lot of claims. 
They got more claims than you would otherwise expect. How many men have we lost in this war now? Um, we have lost... 285,000. Mostly against France, and you know what? I understand that. We take Lapez, we did. How are you not dead? If you take Cusco, that, that should be it, though. I think Cusco should be enough for the Adin Popular Confederation to finally collapse. Okay, we have one Swedish unit here. But, like, that's a lot of international troops in the north. And I don't think Sweden's going to live too long. The yeah, Arbaijan are trying their best. Zarazin's now bringing in proper supplies. Anything like where do we push now? Because Russia, sixty-two percent. Fighter twos. I'm okay upgrading them. And you know, I'll even put another factory on them. Yeah, it's not fucked up. The international is still standing. We've done it. They said it could not be done. But Peru will be mine. Bolivia will be Argentina's. Congratulations to you for a hard-fought victory. Assuming that none of you is actually... Yeah, none of you is actually Peruvian territory. And now, these guys can actually go and fight in another theater. Um, for right now, I'm going to sit in the middle of Africa. We're going to go to middle Africa, go our way up into Egypt, and I might actually try to navally invade Greece. Does that make any sense whatsoever? No, right? I mean, it could send you maybe to Italy, clean up this little pocket, and then... Yeah, probably send you to Italy would make the most amount of sense. Okay, Peru. How much does it cost to occupy them? 5%? I mean, probably not worth it. The welcome Peru. You have 20 aluminum. Pretty good. Okay, don't trade with Germany anymore. We will trade with our vassal state. I don't think... You do actually have some steel as well. Let's stop trading with you for a second. And then subject. Get a 17 steel from you. Then get the rest we need from Germany. Follow it up with another civilian, another military factory, and two research slots to seize the Uno card. I hope so. Somebody needs to do something. How expensive are you? 500 days? Fuck it, I'll take it. Having night vision is pretty good. Yeah, move in something like this. Clear out Dagestan. Then... I don't know. Do I push towards... I guess I push towards Petrograd? Does that make sense? It might make sense. Let's just take a look at the Reichspact right now. I mean, not doing so well in Scandinavia. But other than that, like, it's not horrible. I mean, it's not good. I think Columbia should become a nuclear power. I mean, when you put it that way... If Air Force, give me close air support. Now, the right expected I me. Mean, we're doing pretty good in South America. Chad has been annexed, so maybe the French Republic will finally figure out how to, like, not be completely ass. Also, again, how are the Canadians doing? Uh, they are at... Twenty-six percent. I don't remember what the event for, or what the trigger is for their, the flight of the monarchy, where the Entente as a faction completely collapses. I don't quite remember. I think it's, 
If they lose Vancouver, maybe? Do they have any other major cities? I mean, not really. Flanders capitulated. So, excellent. <laughs> you hate to see it. But Wallonia is still going strong. I believe in you, Wallonia. Um, give me better recon companies. Take your supplies. Okay, I do think we will clean this up at least. And then after that, I'm going to probably put these units... I don't actually know where. Hello, what's your tank model? Um, I think we're using World War One era tanks right now. And we don't have a lot of them. What is Transmute doing? They're in the Coastal Parity Sphere. Okay, so... I don't think Russia and Japan can go to war. They used to be able to, but I don't think they can anymore. Okay. Oh, that's really good. You got all these troops stuck in Livorno. Is that a port province? It is, so they could theoretically escape. Yeah, they're... they're I mean, they're interwar tanks, so they're not... Necessary... How many artillery pieces do we have right now in storage? I'm gonna duplicate you as just a pure infantry army because I have like no artillery right now. We'll keep the support artillery. Duplicate. Switch you all over. Save that as a copy of a copy. And give me um Give me give me ten. Yeah, ten seems okay. Yeah, the Kaiser is uh Pass on this mortal coil. Did you gonna go here? I want you go to go to Benghazi. And then go to two Sicilies. Try to fix all this shit. Legion Illis can war the SRI. Okay, you know what? That actually is useful. I mean, Legionnaire Italy is not our ally. No, I actually don't think Legionnaire Italy can join any factions. Actually, maybe they can join the Reichspact. I legitimately actually don't know. I don't think we've ever played... We've never played Legionnaire Italy, so... All their mechanics I'm not 100% about. Push up to here. Continue these pushes. Once Baku is back in Azerbaijani hands, oil should be a little bit easier for our faction to get a hold of. Because with Russia in charge of Baku, that's a lot of oil they're getting. We don't want that, obviously. Also, Argentina, thank you for the artillery. I do appreciate it. And we have no manpower. I mean, I guess we could upgrade. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, I like this uh, Bolivian flag as well. Where are units? Okay, they're now in Middle Africa. Moving their way up along. I'm actually going to cancel military access to the French Republic because I don't like them. <laughs> Ukraine has a focus tree. I think they've had a focus tree for a while. But they for sure have a focus tree. If you want to play as Ukraine. Okay, Legion of Italy, thank you for... I think those are fighters. Okay, actually, you guys have done a great job. The SRI, if they lose one more city, should be dead. Unfortunately, Legionnaire Italy is not our faction, which does make things a little bit more complicated for us. But I wouldn't mind getting military access to Legionnaire Italy. If you could take Genoa... I mean, actually, I think either of these cities would be enough for us to win. And by win, I mean kill one of the international members. Um, one more of you. Okay, you guys are still trying to hold on. Okay, there's the SRI gone. You love to see it. Okay. That makes our lives easier for sure. That's at least one front. One front. Where we have, you know, accomplished our actual objective. Which is killing, you know, not sucking ass. Don't build military factories in Peru. Build more military factories in Grand Colombia. 
Follow that up with better tanks. And honestly, I think actually I'm going to delete your line here. Where do I put you? I'm going to put you right here. And your job is to take Petrograd. So if you'd move your way up north, please, and thank you. Hyderabad's been annexed. Okay. Not a huge deal, I think, for us. Also, oh, Copenhagen is undefended. Apparently, there's a naval invasion of the of Denmark happening. I don't know when that's going to happen, because, again, that message actually pops up. I think the moment they launch it, not when they're actually close to landing. So, I mean, we'll see. But we'll see how this goes for them. Okay, but we're slowly beating these guys out. Our force have arrived up in towards the north. How much does the Legionnaire Italy have? Pull the 45. You know what? Honestly, not bad. I mean, this, this front looks a little bit exposed as well. We can't get military access through Austria because we're not in the war. I will get military access through Legionnaire Italy, though. I think we do want to help them out. I love how Jamal Shamir is still alive. I honestly don't think the Ottomans can kill them. Hey, you're taking back Constantinople. Good for you. Yeah, there's basic light tank. Can I afford to upgrade them? I mean, we're missing 400 light tanks right now. Which one of you have tanks in them? Not you. Is it you? No, actually, I thought one of our infantry divisions had tanks, but maybe I'm mistaken. No, yes, you do. You guys do. So we have 15 of you. With some World War One tanks. Okay, but it looks like we'll finally let's move our way to Baku. How many troops has Russia lost so far? Two point four million. I mean, we're we've killed almost half a million Russian forces so far. Definitely pulling our weight, I would say. Okay, here comes our forces. Delete the plan. You guys are gonna front line right here, and just I don't know, man. Just 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 try. But do not go here for right now, because I think there's a decent amount of enemy uh, naval vessels in the area. I want to avoid that for as long as possible. Uh, yeah, let's get the 1942 artillery. 153 days is pretty cheap. There we go. Okay, the game, it took a while for the game to figure out what was happening, but it got there in the end. Get more of you. Let's still trade, let's trade more with the U.S. I mean, the CSA, I mean, the truth between the American Union State and the CSA has been very powerful. Let's just put it that way. How are the Canadians still alive, though? Like, legitimately. I know they capitulated at 5%. I mean, I guess they still have Halifax. That's worth 8. I think St. John's is worth 2. The rest is territory. I mean, they have Vancouver and they got Victoria, right? That's, that's basically what's keeping the Canadians in the game. It's going to be hilarious when... The CSA completely white piece white pieces the Canadians out. It's going to happen. I can almost guarantee it. Actually, wait, no, maybe it won't, because the Canadians are worth the American Union state as well. They might not be able to white piece out the CSA like they normally can. <gasps> Holy shit! The AI is doing something. They're pushing. Nope, the German AI has realized. You know what? We're helped out the Entente too much. We're out of here. <laughs> See, again, this is the issue. This is the issue with the the um, the Halifax Agreement. It's because the AI does not like helping out another faction. So now the Germans are just going to leave. Leaving this entire area once again completely exposed for the commune to take it back. And push Germany right back up to Alsace-Lorraine. Like, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that's exactly how this is going to play out. Okay, again, push. Let these guys make some progress. Okay, that's, that's a lot of Russian troops we've got uh, encircled in Baku right now. Yeah, it's like, why leave? Like, it doesn't actually do anything for you. I wish I could get military access through Austria. It'd be very helpful. 
You have no manpower. I, I do, I do see that. Yes, we have to wait till we have 100 political power though for us to get. You know what? We don't need air production. Cancel this. We'll be getting 1.8, so in about a week we can upgrade our uh, manpower pool. Something like this. Keep on pushing a Petrograd front. Military factories. Ah, uh, we actually have a lot of close air support. We also have a lot of anti-air that I actually never put in any of my armies. So what do we have the most of? We have 22 of you. So let's throw in a support anti-air. And can I throw a support anti-air into you guys as well? Yes. I think that's a little bit more... Um, a breakthrough, I believe? Okay, but luckily, we are at least actually making progress now. We might actually end up winning. Which is insane for me to even think about. Jamo Shamir died? Holy hell. I did not see that happening, to be quite honest with you. But that's Ottoman troops that are freed up to go literally anywhere else. Okay, the French Republic finally is getting their shit together. Did they take Halifax yet? No. I think, how long until the United States is dead? I mean, we can't really see it in our... I mean, I guess they, they do still technically have New York City, Philadelphia. Okay, Philadelphia is a CSA core. They got bought. I mean, the, the Americans have still a lot of territory. Lex research. Honestly, boom, go to 1942 on you. Our naval invasion to low countries. Hopefully, that won't be an issue. And 100 allows us to get to a service by requirement. Now, take go back to air production. Hey, Jamal Shamir. Now you're on the right side of history. I mean, the Reichs Pact, like, that's a pretty good-looking Reichs Pact. I've got to say. They're actually not MacArthur. It's just, um... Why is my map not pulled up? It's actually just, like, normal America. It's just led by uh, Quentin Roosevelt. MacArthur did not actually take power in this timeline. Okay, we've got our forces together. I would like to connect. I mean, actually, what I want to do, I want to put troops here. So let's it's not in a faction. It's actually Blue Army. I'm going to pull you right up towards Lyon. Like, just go around here. The Legion of Italy, they're, they're fine where they're at. We're not going to worry about them too much. Thank you. Entry equipment three. How many guns do we have in storage? 11,000. I feel then confident being able to switch over. Very expensive, though. It does need a lot of steel. And we can get that steel from the U.S. I mean, trading factories with them does give them a little bit of a power boost. We want to push up this way. And if we can get our way into French Republic territory, push our way into Paris. Like, maybe we... I'm surprised that we can actually win this. I came into this today expecting to lose immediately. The fact that we're not dead is astonishing to me. I mean, the Swedish front's still not looking great. You know, I'm not going to deny that. Okay, so I want to kill you. Connect this up so I can actually move our troops north. Move our way around Paris, move our way, march away straight towards Brest, then down towards Spain. That seems like the proper way to get this done. Okay, the SRI is now dead. Pass, 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 pass. Okay, let's... Also, I've, ne I've never seen this like my entire life. Two Sicilies. What is it? What does it think? You should... It says... I mean, yeah, basically everything except for uh, Turin, which is basically what I... Kind of, I agree with that. 
And then we gotta find Legionnaire Italy. They can have terrain in this province here. Come back started when Arzina joins. The policy will win solely because of Arzina. I mean, probably not because solely because of Argentina, but I will say that Argentina um, joining, allowing us to kill Peru and then send these forces over to Europe probably does legitimately do, did make a difference. So, I mean, them joining is nice. I don't know how many troops they actually put into uh, Europe, Argentina themselves.